Hello, I'm Mayor Every Stand of Shell, Mississippi. Shell is a small rural town located in the Mississippi Delta, just off of US Highway 61. We have made several contributions to local, state, and national history that we are very proud of. But the one we are honoring with this award is Hawkins versus the town of Shell. Thanks to the generous support of many donors, including the Mississippi Humanities Council, in October of 2019, we were able to host the 50th commemorative celebration in honor of Hawkins versus the town of Shaw. The commemoration included a pop-up museum, the renaming of US Highway 61 within the city limits of Shaw to the Andrew and Mary Lou Hawkins Memorial Highway, a reunion for members of the Shaw Civil Rights Movement and a live theatrical play titled Wade Through the Waters that I co-wrote with Ms. Aaliyah Wright. The case garnered the attention of several prominent civil rights lawyers, Jonathan Shapiro, Mel Leventhal, Jack Greenberg, Reuben Anderson, and others. The presidents set by Hawkins versus Town of Shaw allowed it to become the template for successful municipal services equalization cases. It became a major part of hood. Hawkins versus Town of Shaw is used in law school around the country. Hawkins versus the town of Shaw has been cited in countless court cases, such as Hadnot versus the city of Prattville, Alabama in 1970, Johnson versus the city of Arcata, Florida in 1978, Dowdell versus the city of Apaca, Florida in 1981, and Ammons versus the Dade City, Florida in 1984. Andre and Mary Lou Hawkins were my parents. They were civil rights pioneers on the front line of the movement. Hawkins versus the city of Shaw was a class action lawsuit in 1969 to equalize the municipal service and infrastructure between black and white neighborhoods. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. My family endured a lot of pain and suffering. My mother was murdered along with my brother and two of my children. On behalf of my sisters, Nola May and Mary Sue, and the rest of my family, I would like to thank the city of Shaw, members of the commemoration committee, everyone else in the Mississippi Humanity Council for their support and recognition. 